This class exercise will help you practice calculation of the length and slope. This is training module 2.05b for the stochastic empirical loading and dilution model seldom. This presentation has 16 slides and will take about 4 minutes. It was prepared by the U.S. Geological Survey in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration. This training module has five learning objectives. At the end of this module, you should be able to use the stream stats, trace flow path within watershed and show profile tool, get the elevation and distance data, manually calculate the length and 1085 slope, realize that you can follow these steps on a paper map, and if your state has these variables, get a basin characteristics report from stream stats. To demonstrate the information that Seldom can provide, I'll use the Howard Brook Basin in Northboro, Massachusetts, above Interstate 290. The basin is outlined in black and shaded pink in this image from StreamStats version 3. For this exercise, we'll be using the June 2020 version of StreamStats. To get the length and slope, we must first navigate to the basin, delineate the watershed, select the national map for contours, and open the exploration tools. Look at the Exploration Toolbox in the upper left and then choose Elevation Profile Tool. Select the Digital Elevation Model DEM resolution. I chose the finest and click the Select Profile Points button. Start at the bottom of the basin as designated by the rectangle at the bottom of the map and click your way up the stream path. When you get to a fork in the stream, as you click up the basin, take the longest flow path. When you get to the end of the blue line indicating the stream path, follow the contours pointing up the hill to the basin divide. Keep clicking up the flow path to the upper edge of the basin, and then double click the last point to calculate the values. After it calculates the values, StreamStats will provide the elevation profile report. In this case, the stream is about 2.32 miles long, so the 10% point is at about 0.23 miles, and the 85% point is at about 1.97 miles. The distance between them, the 1085 length, is 1.74 miles. The elevations near these points are at about 330 and 607 feet above sea level, respectively. The slope is the difference in elevation divided by the difference in length between the 10 and 85% points. In this case, it's 159 feet per mile. If your state has the 1085 slope, CSL 10 underscore 85, and the longest flow path, LFPLENGTH, in stream stats, use the basin characteristics report to get the values. In this case, stream stats got a slope of 148 feet per mile and a main channel length of 2.48 miles. In this training module, we learned how to use the stream stats profile tool, get the elevation and distance data, Manually calculate the length and 1085 slope. Recognize that we can manually follow these steps on a paper map. And if your state has these variables in StreamStats, get a basin characteristics report.